Software has invaded the world today, and we have digital applications running on many different platforms. From a wristwatch, a cell phone, or a TV, to cloud server farms, or driverless vehicles. This proliferation of computer systems, and the rate at which they've evolved, makes it necessary for us to stop for a moment and try to understand the types of current applications and their architecture. Next, we'll see how to classify them, understand how they're built, and how they can communicate with each other. The first thing to consider is that not only is there a great diversity of platforms where applications run, but in most cases, one part of the application runs on one platform and the other part on another. This creates a significant number of challenges to overcome, such as knowledge of different operating systems, their hardware and software requirements, and understanding how communication works between parts of the same application or between applications. To narrow the scope, we'll focus on web and mobile applications. Both web applications and native mobile applications have a part that runs on the platform that the user is interacting with, which is called client device, and another part that runs on a computer dedicated to serve applications, which is usually called server. In the case of web systems, the client is the internet browser, regardless if it's running on a desktop computer, a laptop, a tablet, or a smartphone. The server is where the web application is hosted, usually a large computer, capable of handling simultaneous requests from thousands of customers. For native applications, there's also software that runs on the mobile device locally, client, and other software that runs on a server. The part of a digital application that runs on the client device is called the front end, and the part that runs on the server is called the back end. The entire application is comprised of these two parts, which interact with each other. The back end includes programs that provide services to client applications, such as connecting to a database server to generate information in the format required by the client. The back end never has screens that the user can interact with. It receives the indirect request of the user. It's only capable of doing so through invocations of an application to its services generating the information, and returning a response to the client device. On the other hand, the front end is the software intended to be used by users. So it has screens where we can interact with the application, for example, to query, create, modify, or delete data. All these actions are translated into requests to the server to save the data in the database, or to return the result of a query in operation on the data and so on. For example, in the case of web applications, the server performs the requested operations, assembles the web page in HTML format, and returns it to the client, where the browser interprets the code and draws the screen for the user. In the case of applications native to a mobile device, the screen is drawn on the device with the device's own controls, and the application on the server is responsible for generating the information to be displayed. Front-end applications that run on a web browser, whether on a desktop PC or on a mobile device, have a different design and behavior than front-end applications that run natively. When running on a web browser, applications are generally responsive, responsive web design. That is, they're designed so that their appearance automatically adjusts to the size of the screen they're being viewed on. So-called native applications or applications that are programmed in the device's native language do not use a web browser. Instead, their screens are designed using platform-specific components. The biggest advantage of native applications over web applications is their speed to run and draw a screen. Their access to native hardware resources, such as GPS, camera, or microphone in the case of mobile devices, as well as access to software resources, such as calendar, notebook, or reminders, among others. Recently, a new type of application has emerged on the market, the so-called 
Progressive Web Applications, PWA. These applications are an evolution of web applications as they offer a user experience very similar to that of a native application with the ability to perform tasks that until now only native applications could do, such as accessing device resources, being able to be installed in the client device, or working offline. As we'll see, Genexus allows us to develop these three types of applications almost without us even realizing it, and all this, which can seem complex, becomes unimaginably simple. So far, we've focused on the components of a digital application, but let's see how we can classify them according to who they are intended for. Applications aimed at interacting with inexperienced people, such as end consumers or customers, are called customer-facing applications. This type of application is characterized by its ease of use, high degree of interaction, and careful design, and is aimed at making users like what they see and enjoy the experience of handling it. Information must be displayed clearly and quickly. Access to different functions must be intuitive, and the learning curve must be minimal. Ensuring the best possible performance and user experience can determine the user's loyalty and their intention to use the application again, so no effort is spared in these areas. Both web and mobile applications try to offer the best experiences to their customers, since they're the ones that ensure organization's revenue or the reason for their existence. There are other applications aimed at the employees of these companies, which allow them to enter and maintain business information, as well as make decisions based off of it. These applications are called back office because they're for internal use of organizations and are never accessed by customers. Back office applications, while they must also provide a good user experience and ease of use, do not focus on these features as loyalty is not an issue here. But rather, they must allow efficient access to information, adequately provide the functionality required by the business, and be reliable in handling the data. A good back office application can determine a competitive advantage over other companies in the same industry, while an unreliable or non-compliant application can result in delays, errors, or significant financial losses. There are many tools on the market to develop the front end and back end of an application. The most widely used on the market are those that appear on the screen. Added to these databases. So as not to overwhelm you, we won't go into details of each one because you won't have to master any of this anyway. Genexus will implement your digital solution on the platform that you request without you having to worry about knowing anything about it. It'll be enough for you to know only one tool, one language, one platform, Genexus. Now, what is Genexus?